Hi guys, this is Kelly and you're watching That Smells Divine. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some recent samples that I received from Scent Split that were actually supposed to be for a different video theme. So some of you guys remember me talking about doing a video with my partner and having him like blind sniff things and give his reaction. So I had gone on to Scent Split and I had ordered, um, I think, eight or ten samples of things that I thought he would really like. So I was kind of like going off of that and then I wanted to see his reactions. However, he is super busy with work and super slammed, so that's gonna have to be a video for another day, but I could not hold off anymore talking about these fragrances because there's some real winners in here. Before we dive into today's video, if this is your first time watching my channel, hello, welcome. Please give this video a like if you love the content and make sure that you subscribe to receive notifications of future videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back, and thank you so much for your continued support. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Okay, so let's dive in to these fragrances. As I mentioned, I got all of these off of Scent Split, um, and I, as much as I hate dabbers, I ordered dabbers so that I could justify getting more samples. And I actually just recently bought some little spray vials. So um, for the one that I've worn, wore tested so far, more than one time. Um, I've transferred that over to a spray vial, but these, the rest of these are still in dabbers. So I haven't fully, I've sniffed all of them. I've wear tested two of them, but I really haven't given any of these like a full, um, a full shot yet. So that will be happening after this video. So I guess I have nine fragrances here. I thought I had 10, but I guess I have, oh no, I did have 10. Um, I'll share with you what the 10th one was. It's already gone. Um, but basically all of these fragrances are fragrances that I picked out that I thought would fit my boyfriend's scent profile, like what he loves. I know he loves like cozy, sweet, gourmand kind of fall winter scents. And so I tried to sort of stay with that theme, but also kind of push the edges a little bit because I am trying to open his mind up a little bit as far as notes, because I feel like he's kind of just sticking to the same like DNA over and over again, you know? And so that was the intention when I ordered these. And also some of these were things that I've been really wanting to get my nose on for a long time. So it was kind of like, there was kind of two intentions with this as well. Um, but these are all actually gonna be perfect looking. Yeah, I think all of them are like perfect fall winter scents, very cozy, very gourmand, very warm, um, very comforting scents, which I don't know about you, but that's like maybe my favorite category of fragrances actually. Um, so I'm really excited to share these all with you. As I go through these fragrances, I have previously pulled up the notes breakdown on each fragrance. However, I'm not going to check in with the notes as I sniff each of these. I'm just gonna kind of give my second impressions of each of these fragrances. And when I edit the video, I'll go ahead and list the notes profile, the notes breakdown on the side of the video like I usually do. Um, so this, this isn't like reviews of these fragrances. It's just literally my second impressions. So let's start off with the first fragrance, which is the one that's actually not, I mean, I have the vial, but it's the fragrance is pretty much gone. Um, and that is a uh, spice bomb extreme by Victor and Rolf. So Ian has been on a journey to figure out what this fragrance was. He went to San Antonio for a weekend. I forget what he did down there. Um, and he met up with some of his friends and one of his friends, he said smelled so good. And he asked him what it was and he told him he couldn't remember, of course, but he remembered that the bottle looked like a grenade. And so we've been like doing all this research. We went to Ulta. Um, we couldn't, we couldn't really find it. He, when we saw the spice bomb bottles online, he was like, yeah, I think that's it. So I got a sample of the extreme version and I switched it over to a spray. So a spray vial so he could spray it and he sprayed it and he was like, this isn't it. He was like, this is nice, but this isn't it. So spice bomb extreme, um, literally only smelled it once. So I don't even remember what it smelled like, except that I remember it was kind of just like warm, spicy. It smelled like slightly generic to me and just kind of like mass appealing, which to be honest, I wouldn't expect anything different from Victor and Rolf. Sorry if that offends anyone, <laughs> but I just kind of view it as like sort of a mainstream mass appealing fragrance, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's, I tend to go towards things that are a little bit more niche and a little bit more unique. 
a little bit more edgy. Um, but yeah, so we're still on the hunt to figure out what that fragrance is. And he could very well just call up his friend and ask him, but we're kind of having fun doing this like little scavenger hunt. So that was the first sample. The second sample was another men's fragrance that I actually, um, have smelled many times in the past because this guy that I used to date wore it religiously and it's outside of sort of the scent profile of the rest of these. It's not necessarily like a fall kind of warm, cozy scent, um, but I wanted to see how it smelled on Ian because I just absolutely loved the way it smelled on the guy that I used to date. And this was like 2003 when I discovered this fragrance, so it's been a while. So um, this is Carolina Herrera's 212 for Men, not the VIP version, just the regular version. And it's just, it's like a really pretty woody kind of floral. I remember um, feeling like, it, yeah, just kind of sensing that it smelled a little bit feminine. Like in 2003 when I smelled this on the guy that I used to date, I remember being like, wow, that's a like kind of a feminine fragrance, you know? So this smells like a very feminine fragrance for a men's fragrance to me. I think it's, I think it has a little geranium in it. Um, Definitely picking up on some sandalwood and maybe some vetiver. I actually, now that I'm like smelling this and thinking back to 2003, maybe it was the VIP version because this smells similar, but it's not like a hundred percent match, but it also could just be like difference in skin and, and how it wears. So anyways, that's um, Carolina Herrera, two and two for men. I'm not sure if Ian's going to like this. I was just curious to see what it smells, smells like on him. Um, because I remember like some really sweet notes coming off um, and Ian does sweet notes really well. So yeah, I'm interested to see how that works out for him. Okay, the second fragrance we have is one that I decanted into a spray vial because I've been wear testing it. Um, I was really, really excited about this fragrance. I've had a, a couple people um, rave about it and I do like it. I think that it smelled better when I sprayed it on paper. As I've been wear testing it, it reminds me of a couple of other fragrances. So this is Lalabo's Another 13. And this is like one of those kind of molecular type, um, your skin but better fragrances. Okay, I don't know what is going on, but literally when I put my nose up, do it like this, it smells like actual butthole. Like this smells so bad. It smells like my dog's ass. Like it literally smells like that. I don't know why, like I kind of want to gag. Should I cut this part out? Maybe I'll leave it in for your enjoyment later. Oh yeah. Um, so it wasn't smelling like that the other day. Um, basically this is like I said, like one of those kind of your skin, but better sort of molecular, um, kind of musky, like pheromonal type of fragrances like I said, like wearing it's nice, like it's definitely nice, but it, it reminds me, um, it kind of sits in the family with like Glossier's U and, um, Molecule One. Like I'm definitely not comparing it to Molecule One because if you know, you know, like Molecule One is one of my all time favorite fragrances. I feel like everything that was created after Molecule One that kind of tried to replicate it came nowhere close. And that's kind of how I feel about this. I feel like this leans a little bit more towards the style of Glossier's U. It smelled kind of similar on my skin as Glossier U does. Now with Glossier U, um, it smells totally different on different people, right? Like I was at my old job one time and um, walked by one of the servers and I was like, what are you wearing? She had this like sweet incense kind of smell just like emanating off of her, which told me Glossier U. I was like, what? That smells fruity on me. That's bizarre. And then I read up on it and realized that it, it really like changes based on who's wearing it. I'm not sure if that, if this is necessarily going to do that, but it reminds me of what Glossier U smells like on my skin where it's kind of got this like fruity, musky, um, almost like citrusy thing going on. So this is another 13 by Lilabo. Okay, moving on, we have a um, fragrance that they actually messed up and gave me two samples of, which I'm not sad about. Um, this one I had been waiting to try forever. It's by the house Unique E Luxury, which I actually just watched I can't remember the um, YouTuber's name. I just started following her yesterday. I feel like it's Greta something. I heard about her from Marie's channel. 
um, Marie, you guys know Marie, I can't remember her last name. Um, anyways, Marie recommended Greta. I went down a rabbit hole on Greta's channel and I saw an interview that she did with the creator of Uniki, I think the owner, he's a Turkish man. Um, and he, he's creating three new fra fragrances. One is launching, or it's supposed to launch in September. I don't know if it's launched yet. And then two more in 2023. So I was watching the video talking about that. Um, I had been wanting to get my hands on this house for a long time because I've heard Sebastian talk about Crush On Me a couple of times. So um, yeah, so I got two samples of it and I haven't fully properly worn, war tested it. Like I said, I never know how to say that. Wear test, war test. Um, I did dab a little bit on my hand and I was interested because it's not actually at all what I thought it was going to smell like and it was actually like kind of very assaulting to my nose to be honest and I think it might be just done in a Middle Eastern style which I have yet to kind of wrap my head around because I haven't had much experience with Middle Eastern scents um, so yeah I think that that might be what it is is that my nose just isn't adapted yet but I'm guessing that this is just a really quality fragrance because everyone raves about it so it's yeah, it's really, really, really strong. Um, I feel like I remember um, her saying that this is an X straight, and I think it's at 35%, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I'll put it in the notes here on the screen. Uh, but this is like a, to me, so again, I don't have the notes in front of me, but to me, what I get off the top is like, um, it's like rose, chocolate, and patchouli. So it kind of reminds me of that sort of medicinal, almost like cherry-ish feel that you get from Nishane's Ani right at the top. It has that same sort of medicinal kind of cough syrup quality, which I can't remember if, there, I can't remember if there's a chocolate note in Ani. I don't think so. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's like that same kind of medicinal. Yeah, and then this dries down to like a very... Um, like rosy patchouli is what I got from it. It's super loud, like super loud. So I like dabbed this, you know, like one time, like on my knuckle. And I was like, whoa, I can't imagine spraying like eight sprays of this. Like I kind of want to just to experience it. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to wear test this because it reminds me of Ani just in the opening. And, you know, I've heard so much about this house and I don't hear that many people like reviewing their individual fragrances except for Sebastian. So I'm excited to play with this a little bit more and perhaps get my hands on some of their other fragrances as well. Okay, moving on, we have another one that I heard about from Sebastian and this one, I was so excited for it and I don't know, I, again, I need to play with it, but I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm also extremely picky, you guys. Like I am not the fragrance reviewer that's, that's gonna be like, oh my God, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing. Like I'm just, it takes a lot to wow me. It takes a lot for a fragrance to really click for me. And I also get my expectations like up really easily too when I watch other people's reviews. So this is a nice fragrance. I just, in my head, it was gonna be something different. So this is by Rania J and it's called Ombre Loop. And it's an amber fragrance. And amber is a note that I'm really trying to get Ian more into, which is why I got it. Plus the way that Sebastian described it, I was like, oh my God, I have to try that. So it's not, it's nice, um, but it's got, I don't know, there's something, like it's ambery and kind of spicy, but there's something underneath it that's like pushing it too hard, if that makes sense. Like it's like chocolate or woods that are just, it's just taking over where I wish it kind of stayed a little bit lighter and fluffier and more ambery at the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, and again, I don't know the notes, I'll put them down on the side here. But it, to me, it seems like one of those fragrances where the base notes are like super impatient, you know? And they're just like, I wanna come play now. And you're like, hold on a second. Like, just develop for a sec, you know what I mean? That's kind of what my experience of this is. I think that if you love chocolate and you love spices, I think you're really going to appreciate this fragrance. Um, but again, I need to wear test. There might be oud in here too. There might be oud actually. There might be cinnamon. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, not a love at first sniff, but who knows what could happen once I get it on skin and really start playing with it. Okay, moving on. Oh, this one. Okay, this one. I have been so... This was probably the thing that I've been most excited to sniff in the year 2022 and putting it off so much because I was so afraid that I would be disappointed. 
and I'm not gonna say that I'm fully disappointed yet because I obviously need to like spray and wear and feel it out. But from first sniff, I'm like, oh, I like you, but I wanted you to be more. And this is Initio's Oud for Greatness. Don't come for me in the comments. I know a lot of you guys love this fragrance. And like I said, I'm not done yet. Like I haven't decided that I'm disappointed, but I'm leaning towards disappointment. Until I spray this, I won't know for sure. But this is, like I said, Initio's Oud for Greatness. Um, it, I mean, from, okay, so from here, it smells divine. Yeah, like I get it. I get the whole, th I get, I get it. Like, I think it was Anna Lauren that was talking about how this fragrance just kind of like dials everything in and it's like a vibrational kind of experience, which I get that with all Initio fragrances. I feel like it like does some sort of cellular reprogramming to me. Like it feels like it's like sacred geometry. If that makes any sense, it feels like it's encoding something into the universe. Like, yeah, it, it takes me to that place, most of their fragrances. Um, and this does that off of here. Um, however, when I dabbed it on skin, I just kind of started to get something that just still smelled good, but it didn't bring me to that like ethereal place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't having a spiritual experience and I thought I was going to be having a spiritual experience. That pretty much sums up my feeling about this fragrance. Um, the, but the oud is absolutely gorgeous in here. It's a little like burning on the nose hairs, but yeah, I don't know. I got to play with this. I want it to be a little bit sweeter, I think is the thing. So, you know, it could be actually, it'd be kind of cool to try and layer this with Baccarat Rouge or one of the dupes and see if that like little bit of sweetness kind of just adds that dimension that I'm looking for with this. I am gonna try that out. Anyways, that's Initio's Oud for Greatness. Um, this next one I've spoken about already because I couldn't resist. Um, I talked about it in my Almond Note video and this is my first fragrance that I've smelled from the Navitas, Navitas, Navitas um, Parfums line. Um, I really, want to get my nose on as many of these as possible. I love the bottles, they're so pretty, and I've heard people just raving about these fragrances. And so, yeah, I really, like this is probably the house, one of the like five houses that I wanna just get my nose on everything like right away. Um, but this is Absolutio, and um, it's a beautiful like saffron, um, like spicy kind of saffron sweet, so I said this in the video and I, I'll say it again. This literally reminds me of like Baccarat Rouge plus apple pie. Like, so I kind of just, spoiler alert, we're gonna talk about Angel Share today. But this reminds me of, of if you combined Angel Share with Baccarat Rouge. It smells like Baccarat at the top with that like kind of sponge sugar saffron thing going on. But then it quickly is grounded out with these spices I smell like some cinnamon and um yeah it just gets like grounded out it's absolutely beautiful you guys I think this actually might be my favorite from the entire scent split haul which is funny because it was like one of the ones that I was like oh I'll just throw that in um I am going to transfer this over once the weather gets a little bit cooler I'm going to transfer this over to a spray vial and I'm going to play with this I have a feeling I'm going to want a full bottle of this and then I have a feeling once I get a discovery set of Navitas, I'm going to want a full bottle of everything because, yeah, I heard they're really good. So actually, I would love to know in the comments, for those of you guys that have smelled anything from this house, let me know in the comments, like, what is your fate? Like, what do I absolutely need to get my nose on? Because I'm just going to order, there's like quite a few fragrances in the house. So I'm just going to order, you know, what people are recommending um, first and foremost. So yeah, that was Absolutio by Navitas. So um, since I just started talking about it, we'll just talk about this one next. This is Killian's Angel Share. I, uh, this is one of those fragrances that has been so hyped that I've been like, I'm not trying it. I'm not trying it. And finally I was like, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try it. And I tried it. I ordered it mostly because I thought for sure this was going to be something that Ian would just fall head over heels in love with. And I don't know if he's going to, cause he hasn't smelled it yet, but, um, this is kind of like the thing that I was most excited about him smelling. Uh, yeah, it's this is beautiful. It's everything that people say it is. It's everything like It smells like a piece of apple pie 
um, like with a mixture of like these beautiful like whiskey oak barrels. It's it's literally the smell of fall. It's the smell of apple picking and then going home and making apple pie. Like I picture myself in the kitchen with like some candles lit and it's all like cozy and it's cold outside and you're like baking an apple pie and like drinking an old fashioned. Like that's what this smells like. So yeah, I've heard different opinions on the longevity on this, on the performance. Um, I've heard some people say that it lasts forever on them and I've heard some people say that it doesn't last um, that much at all. But I'm really excited to play with this some more. I actually just ordered some things from Oil Perfumery and in that order, which I'm gonna do a video about once, I, once it gets here, um, in that order, I did an angel share. So if I fall in love with it, I'm gonna use the, and if I fall in love with it and it has um, not great performance, I can layer, I can buy the bottle of Angel Share and then layer with the oil perfumery. That was my plan, because I just kind of know I'm gonna fall in love with it. <laughs> so um, yeah, look out for those videos. I actually also have another fragrance net haul coming today. It should be here any minute, I'm so excited. Um, I ordered four vanilla fragrances, like vanilla cheapies from Fragrance Net. Super excited, so I'll do a video on those as well. Uh, but yeah, this was Killian's Angel Share. All right, second to last, we have, um, this is actually not a fall cozy fragrance, but it's one that I really wanted Ian to get his nose on because he recently smelled um, Okcha, or he recently had and used up a bottle of Okcha's um, Secret Lagoon, which is the dupe for Virgin Island, uh, Virgin Island Water by Creed. And he really loved that. And so like, I know he's not gonna wear a coconut fragrance in the winter, but I kind of just wanted to see if you like this. So this is by Rirana Parfum and it's Coconut Nanas. Um, and this is like a sweet, like sticky coconut. Like it's super, it's super sweet to me. It kind of smells like bananas and coconut. Like it's got this really sticky sweet, um, like realistic kind of pina colada smell. I don't know if he's gonna like it, but you never know. I gotta transfer it over to a, a spray vial. Um, but yeah, that's Coconut Nanas by Rirana. And then last but not least, we have something by Shane Blue. This is called Salt Caramel. And yeah, I feel like Ian's gonna love this too. He's outside now, so I can not feel like he's listening. Um, yeah, I mean, this is straight up salted caramel. Like straight up. It's very salty, like very salty. It's definitely the most salty fragrance I think I've ever smelled. It smells like you're just bathing in like melted Werther's Originals. Like that's what it smells like. So again, I'm super excited to, to spray these. So even though we're not doing the video together anytime soon, um, he still doesn't want me to show him the fragrances. He wants to be surprised. And so my plan has been to wear test these and like just kind of wear them around. And if he mentions one, I'll be like, oh, you should try it too because that was on your list for the video, you know. Uh, but I think Angel Share and Absolutio, he's probably going to want a bottle of Absolutio, Absolutio because he loves Baccarat Rouge. He has gone through f four of the dossier dupes in the past year. He actually ran out again the other day, so we need to make another dossier order. <laughs> dossier, do you guys do dis subscriptions yet? Like, seriously, they should think about that. But anyways, I think he's going to like Absolutio, um, Killian Share, the Salted Caramel, and I know he's gonna hate crush on me. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how he feels about everything. But that is the haul for today. Upcoming videos, you guys. We've got a fragrance net cheapy vanilla haul. We've got an oil perfumery haul. We've got a um, clean fragrance houses video coming up. Those are the three for now that I've got like on the docket for you guys. Um, also, Yesterday, I last night, I applied to um, get a free ticket to the Scent Explore Expo in New York City on December 2nd and 3rd. I'm curious if any of you are attending that event. I'm still on the fence on whether or not I want to go simply because we have a lot of travel coming up in December and I just feel like it would be too much to go to New York City as well that month. Um, but that's kind of why I applied because I was like, well... Like my YouTube channel is so small. If they were to pick me, like it would be a sign from the universe that I'm supposed to be there, you know? But I am still considering um, getting a ticket and going, even if I don't get picked. And um, 
you know, they also have virtual tickets as well. So um, I think that I may, if I get accepted as like a blogger influencer guest there, I think that they may give us affiliate codes um, to get like a discount on registration tickets. I think I'm pretty sure that's part of it. Um, so let me know in the comments, like, are you interested in going to explore? They have a virtual option as well. They've got two virtual options, I believe. One of them, I think there's two options. One is you just get access to like um, the, you know, the talks that they're doing and the award ceremony and all of that. And then also um, you can get one where you get sent a bag of samples as well. And I guess the bags are like pretty hefty. Like it's not just like 10 samples, it's like a giant bag. Um, so yeah, I really want to go. There are um, so many brands there that I absolutely love. And there's also like, I saw like 20 brands on the list that I've never heard of before. 20 houses that is. And so yeah, I'm really excited. And it's a two day event, right? So it's like a conference. If you've ever been to like an expo, like basically there's all these booths set up and you pretty much just go like your nose hairs, I'm sure are going to be completely burnt off by the end of the weekend. So there's that. Also, in other news, um, I heard from, I don't have my computer, I heard from someone that um, Josh Meyer is launching another new scent on the October 25th, which at the point you see this video, I think will be tomorrow. Um, it's called In Love With Everything, and I don't know the notes yet, I just heard the name, I haven't seen the bottle yet or anything, um, and I believe he's doing an event um, on it's somewhere on Valencia Street it, it might be at the Ministry of Scent actually and the event it's like a launch party the event is in the beginning of November I'll put the details on the screen here so that you guys can see that but if you're in San Francisco you have to go meet Josh and check out his new fragrance launch um, I've met Josh in person like over 10 years ago and he's an incredible human being I just I love him he's great um, I met him for like 15 minutes and it was like one of those conversations where you walk away and you're just like, I will always remember that person, you know, um, his love for fragrance and like his creativity and his artistry is, is unmatched. So I'm a huge imaginary authors fan. Um, so yeah, I'll put the details here and also in the description box. If you are in San Francisco and you're able to go to his event, I think you'll have a great time. That's it for this video, you guys. As we move more into the cooler months, I'm gonna start to do a little bit more of some notes series. Um, so if you have some notes you want me to talk about, just let me know in the comments. I think, especially with this new, these two new hauls coming up, I have so many vanilla fragrances at this point. I'll probably do a vanilla haul, because who doesn't love vanilla? Like, it's the coziest note. I know some people actually don't like vanilla, but I love vanilla. Um, so I'll probably do a vanilla haul. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, let me know in the comments your thoughts on these fragrances. And um, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the alarm bell to receive notifications of future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. That is it, you guys. Um, also, if... <laughs> oh, that was weird.